Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris Asikan. In this video, I will be revealing to you one of the most common real estate scams in Port Harcourt River State and how you can go about investing in real estate and at the same time avoiding falling victim to this scam. This scam most times is usually carried out by the natives of the land, that is the indigenous of a particular community. Now this is how they go about carrying on this scam. When they get a buyer who indicated interest in buying a piece of land from them, they are going to show him a particular land claiming that the property belongs to them and the property was gotten as a result of family inheritance. So therefore the land doesn't have any documents because it has not been sold before. So if you go ahead with the purchase, you go ahead buying this property from them. If by the time when it comes back to the local your property, you will discover that the property has been sold to someone else before they now resell the property to you. And the most likely thing that any person will find him or herself in such a situation will do is to arrest the person who sold the land to him. When that person, maybe when that person is arrested, that is if the person can be found. When that person is arrested, the person obviously you will tell the police that he doesn't have the money, that the money we gave to him as a result of the sale has been squandered and he doesn't have any means of repaying you back that money. That the only thing that he can do is to give you a replacement of the land that was previously sold to you. And the police trying to broker bills, they will even advise you to go with what you can see. To go with what you can see instead of just making case that you don't know how long it is going to last. So this is how the scam comes into play. The land which was sold to you in the first place may probably be sold to you for 10 million naira. And now when you have agreed for a replacement, they are going to give you another land as a replacement. But that land which they are going to give you will not be worth the same price as the one that was sold to you initially. Probably the one which was given to you as a replacement might be worth 5 million naira and in most cases the land might even be in a waterlogged area, a place that is not accessible or a place that there is no road to access that place. So that is what they are going to give you as a replacement. So you see at the end you have lost like let's say like 5 million naira because what they are giving you as a replacement does not equate what you paid for in the first place. So you have lost like 5 million naira in this transaction. So, but if you want to go about investing in real estate and you don't want to fall victim in any of this town, this is what I advise you to do. Now, when you see a land and they told you that the land is a virgin land, it's a native land and it doesn't have documents, this is what you should do. The first thing I advise you to do is to ask the person who claims to be the seller, who claims to be the owner of the property, ask him to take you to his family chief, that's the chief of the family. So when they take you to the chief of the family, you confirm from the chief of the family that that particular land that was shown to you actually belongs to this person. You let the chief of the family know that one of his kinsmen is trying to sell his land, that the land that was allotted to him is trying to sell the land to you. And you confirm that the land actually belonged to that person. Because the person who sold that land to you tomorrow might disappear into thin air. But the chief of the community is not likely to disappear over the sale of a land so you confirm from him and when you must have confirmed from him that that person that wants to sell the land is the owner of the property the next thing you are going to do is to make some findings about 
you ask around like maybe when the person was trying to sell when the person was trying to convince you about buying that property the person must have probably told you that the person who owns the land next to this one which you are trying to buy is his uncle the person who owns the land opposite this one the land which you are trying to buy is his junior brother you try to confirm if those people that was mentioned if they actually exist and when you must have found out that these people they actually exist you confirm from them if the person that wants to sell the property is the legitimate owner of the property and one thing also when carrying out this due diligence it is important that the people who you are getting this information from is not just the family members of the person who wants to sell the property to you as much as possible try to get information from a total stranger somebody who is not a member of the family try to ask the person if this person is the rightful owner of the property another thing i recommend that you do if you want to buy a virgin land to avoid buying something that have already been sold previously to another person another thing i advise you to do is when they show you this land and you pick up interest i will advise you that if the place is bushy the first thing you should do is to clear the place and after clearing the place you leave it for like two you leave it for like three days depending on what you can do you leave it for like three days and watch and see if anybody will come out to claim ownership of that property if after three days nobody claim ownership you take it a step further by trying to do some perimeter fencing it shouldn't be a complete fence it can be maybe either three coach three coach for a start it can be just three coach because if maybe you try to do a complete fence and at the end it was discovered that the person who is trying to sell the land to you is not the legitimate owner you have lost the money that you spent in making a complete fence so you just do like a perimeter fencing for just three coach and make sure it is in a place that is very visible and you can give it some time like let's say like a week or two to see if anybody will come out to claim ownership of that property if after doing these three things that i just mentioned nobody come out to claim ownership of the property then it is safe to buy such property you can go and take and pay for that property because from this investigation you can conclude that that person who wants to sell the property to you is the rightful owner so if you have gotten value from this video please do where to click on the like button subscribe to this channel and click on the bell notification so you'll be notified when i post new video and if you have any question you can drop it on the comment section i'm going to reply your question so please do where to share this video so that other people can get value that you have also gotten so till i come your way next time my name is Chris.